everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Jacqueline and in today's video I'm going to be ranking the foundations that I have been trying lately. And I'm talking uh, pretty much the foundations that I reviewed during the month of August. Those were all foundations that they are new into the market. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and ring the post notification bell so you get to know whenever I upload new videos. Also, please come and check out my Instagram. And now, if you want to know more about my preference on the newest foundation releases, then just keep on watching. Okay, my friends, so this was a homework. <laughs> Literally, I have been writing about each of the foundations, what I like, what I don't like, and just kind of like put all my thoughts together because this past month of August it has been like so many foundation releases so so many so let me just explain you how I have ranked these foundations it is on personal preference it's not going to be like oh this is universal what I think everybody will like not at all I also didn't rank them according to pricing um, because again I'm just going over preference and just leaving the pricing alone. Maybe here and there I will give you a recommendation on a foundation that perhaps will give you the same finish of a high end or similar finish and um, that you can save some money right there. Now, for those friends who are new here, I want to welcome you to my channel. Thank you so much for the opportunity and the time for being here. I want to let you know a little bit more about my skin type. My skin is for the most part dry skin. I do have certain areas that are normal. I do have a large pores on this area. My signs of aging and my fine lines are most notorious right here. And it happens to be that my forehead, it is the driest part of my face. Um, I also tend to break out and have a sensitivity to certain products. And I tend to break out right here, this area, right here, um, my jawline with a lot of little, not pimples, but they are just little bumps everywhere. So that's me and my skin. And now about my preference on a foundation. My ideal foundation, it is a foundation that has a radiant finish. Now I do have a lot of freckles and although I do not like to cover them, I prefer a light to medium foundation kind of coverage. Something that will camouflage my freckles and kind of like even out my skin tone, um, but not to cover them. Hopefully that makes sense. And obviously I prefer a lightweight foundation that doesn't emphasize my enlarged pores or my fine lines. And by the way, I also have reviewed all of the foundations that I'm going to be talking about today. So if you want to check the reviews of each of the foundations, all of them, they have a water test or a, of at least eight to 12 and sometimes even 16 hours. So if you wanna check those reviews, you're welcome to. Also, if you're a person that likes your foundation to be mad, that it will be a little bit more of like a full coverage, more glam type of foundation, I please ask you to take this ranking video with a grain of salt because again my preference may not be the same as yours and then the foundations that have to stay on my collection is because i'm still loving them each of them they have something that i really enjoy and that's why i have kept them for those who have lived out of this house it is because i would just not wear them and it will not be fair for me to have something on my collection that it will just stay there with nowhere. So now let's just start with the ranking of the foundation. First foundation that I'm going to talk about is a foundation that has stolen my heart. This foundation just blew my mind. This foundation, it is a dream. Um, for those who have followed me for a little while right now, you know that my favorite foundation, it is La Mer. And I will say that this foundation, may have met La Mer and sometimes it 
even surpassed La Mer. And I'm talking about the new Sisley Fitoton Ultra Eclat Foundation. This foundation, it is oil-free. It is a radiant foundation. It has more of a medium to buildable coverage. So therefore, I will suggest to apply a light layer of this foundation. You don't need a lot. It is an investment, but it is actually an amazing investment. It's the best investment that I have made in a long, long time. This foundation is wonderful to the point that I got a second bottle. <laughs> So I have now my summer shade and I have also my winter shade because I love it so so much It is also extremely long wearing it wears for 12 hours plus it also blur my fine lines my texture My imperfection it didn't emphasize my enlarged pores now this foundation I will say is ideally for those who have dry to normal skin um, I don't see people that has oily skin being able to actually use this foundation. Um, it is not heavy, but it has some type of creaminess. Now, it doesn't move around. It just stays put really, really well. Now, this foundation will do really good even on those days that are hot days. I actually, when I was wearing this foundation, it was a really, really hot day and it it just stayed put so well, it works beautifully, and I just, I was just in chalk all day long, looking at my skin, it's like, my skin looks perfect, and I received many compliments when I was wearing this foundation. Now, the finish, it will give you a finish of like a porcelain doll. It's just so beautiful, this subtle radiance that, it's just divine. The second foundation on this ranking, I have to give it to Guerlain Parure Gold. This foundation took me by surprise. I was a little bit hesitant about buying it because I had it to order it from, um, I think it was Selfridge that I ordered it from. And I mean, there's not too many shades as well. And I didn't know which one to get. Another thing, this foundation also contains alcohol and it has SPF of 30. I'm not against to have SPF on my foundation because I treat it more of a, as a booster, but alcohol on a foundation, it kind of like makes me a little bit nervous because again, I do have dry and sensible skin, so I don't want to sensitize my skin any farther. This foundation, when you apply it, it is very strange. It feels actually mad. And I was, I was so disappointed while I was applying it because I was like, I know I'm not going to like this foundation. Well, it happens to be that I was completely wrong because by the time that I was done applying all my face of makeup, the foundation was radiant. My oils were able to kind of like help the foundation to just become one with my skin and it just made my, my overall complexion beautiful, radiant, but not too, too luminous not to the point to be dewy or anything like that. I also was nervous because when you apply this foundation, it's kind of creamy and I thought, oh Lord, right now it's summertime, this foundation is just gonna glide on everywhere. No, it didn't at all. It actually stayed in place. Now this foundation is definitely a medium coverage foundation right there on the spot. I will say this foundation will be good for about eight to nine hour mark. After that, the foundation doesn't look its best, but it's not terrible. So it still has a beautiful finish, but I will say maybe if you wanna wear it for a full day of work and eight hours chief, nine hour mark, this will be still perfect. I will definitely say that this foundation is meant to be more for those who have dry to normal skin. I don't think oily skin will do very good. Although I will say, I mean, obviously I cannot speak for them, but I can say that perhaps if you set it lightly, um, it will just keep that radiance and it will just, you know, keep the foundation in place. Now it didn't settle until my fine lines 
and surprisingly even on the side that I wasn't using my pore minimizer primer it didn't settle into my pores it didn't make them emphasize it actually kind of like make a beautiful blur out of them and I was really impressed with this foundation and now in third place I have Guerlain Le Essential so this foundation it is for those who really want to perfect your skin I will highly suggest to apply this foundation with actually your fingers first go over with your fingers so it will just melt in your skin press it nicely it's very lightweight extremely lightweight so it goes and glides smoothly on your skin it actually has a great amount of different nourishing oils so it just gives such a beautiful hydration to the skin yet it is lightweight and then after applying it with your fingers i will suggest to go over with a sponge just to kind of like make sure that you don't have any lines from your fingers and just to give it a, this more perfecting application another thing that i want to point out it is the fragrance of this foundation it has kind of like this white tea fragrance kind of like a spa like with a little bit of jasmine it is very soothing the smell but it doesn't linger it goes away and it's very subtle now this foundation has more of a satin finish it is a beautiful finish very satiny very uh, you know what it does remind me uh, to like a mannequin skin so not much of a porcelain doll but like a mannequin you know how it has this satin look that it just basically when you move with well when the mannequin moves it gives that very subtle radiance that's the way that i feel about this foundation right here now it definitely has more of a medium to full coverage um, but i will suggest it just to keep it on the medium you can go with less amount of products and you will achieve a light to medium coverage so definitely something that is up on my alley and i think the foundation looks overall very natural and i really love the hydration that it gives to my skin in fact one day don't do this it's not okay um i was really exhausted and i had my youngest daughter on my bed and i had my pajamas on but i still had my makeup on but i was so exhausted so tired i fell asleep with my daughter and my husband didn't want to wake me up and i actually end up having this foundation overnight and surprisingly i usually when i leave any makeup on my face the next day i have little bumps all over it's just my skin obviously doesn't like it but with this foundation it was the complete opposite i i mean the foundation wasn't pretty much there it was all over <laughs> a smear all over my pillowcase but my skin look is still radiant like it was hydrated overnight so i think it has to do with the oils of this foundation again don't ever do that again but i'm just saying that this is what it happened to me and that's why it kind of like i like it because it's like okay if it's not breaking me out at night that that's a good sign that means that i can use it maybe a little bit more often in fourth place, I will have to give it to my darling Charlotte Tilbury and her new Airbrush Flawless Foundation. This foundation is the one that I'm wearing today. So this is what you see right now in camera. Oh, this foundation, it will take your breath away. It is a little bit tricky to find your shade. I will give that. It is a little bit hard. So if you are around a Nordstrom that it carries this foundation or another retailer, or a Charlotte Tilbury's store, I will highly suggest to go there and get Shade Match. When I first tried it, uh, I did try a combination of the shade 4 and 5.5, and it looked very nice on my skin. Happened to be that when it was actually released, I decided to go with the shade 7.5 Neutral, and it is a perfect match for my skin. I mean, who knew? but my skin tone i although i do really well with neutral undertones i do have a little bit more of a golden undertone on my skin and the foundation itself when you swatch it even though it's a neutral it does have a golden undertone it doesn't have a neutral undertone 
So anyhow, when you apply it, it is fairly interesting. I will say go light-handed. You don't need a lot of this foundation. I will say go very little at first, maybe a quarter of a pump on one side, a quarter of a pump on the other side. That's more than enough or even less. And if you want to have a little bit more coverage, then go ahead and tap in a little bit on other areas where you need that coverage. If you go with a full on pump right away, this foundation will definitely give you a full coverage right off the back. I don't think it is cakey at all. In fact, I think it's a nice lightweight foundation. I don't feel like I have foundation right now. I don't feel like, oh, this is heavy and I have already other makeup on me. So I feel that it's really comfortable to wear and it actually gives you a very natural skin-like look with a very subtle radiance. I don't have any highlighter right now because I'm filming another video after this where I'm going to be trying a highlighter and therefore I don't have highlighter but do you see that it has a little bit of a radiance? Another thing, I haven't set my foundation with any powder so I don't set it, none at all. This is just as it is and as you can tell it just gives a very flawless effect. The longevity of this foundation, it is incredible. It lasts for a long time. It doesn't emphasize my pores, it doesn't emphasize my fine lines, but if you have dry patches on your skin, then I will suggest to go with a primer that has some moisturizing properties or even your moisturizer, your daily moisturizer, because um, if you have dry patches, it may be a little bit tricky not to glide over it but throughout the day because this is a foundation that is not advertised as radiant or dewy or luminous it is a matte foundation it may clean a little on those dry patches but it doesn't make them noticeable i actually in fact when i did my final review of this foundation i had um, a little bit of an allergic reaction well i shouldn't say allergic reaction I was basically, I came back from a trip to Disneyland and Hollywood Studios and it was a super hot day, over 100 degrees. I was all day long with the kids and then it was so hot that I broke out. And even then, this foundation didn't emphasize that texture, those bumpiness. It just looked so flawless like the name says. So now into the fifth place, I'm gonna give it to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. This foundation, although it says it's luminous, I will say it has, it is slightly luminous. It is not the luminous that you think, oh wow, it's gonna give me this dewy, extreme radiant type of look. No, it is very subtle, making your skin looking more natural. It doesn't look like Oh yes, you are wearing makeup. No, it doesn't. It doesn't emphasize pores. It's extremely long wearing. The longevity of this foundation, it is impressive. It is also lightweight, which makes it really comfortable to the skin. And also the coverage of the foundation is more into the medium coverage. I'm sure you can build it up, but I don't think the necessity of to build it up. I think that a medium coverage Actually, it's part of how the foundation sits so well into the skin. Now, I will highly suggest to go to the store to get Shea Match because this, this never happens. I usually use a neutral undertone type of foundation. This time, I had to go with a cool tone. This is 250 cool. So the undertones of this foundation are a little bit off. So definitely go to your local Sephora or Ulta and get shade match. The price also is really good. I think it's about $36. I think it's a great price. Now this foundation is definitely non-greasy so it doesn't move and again it just stays on the skin so well and I was extremely impressed with the longevity of the foundation. In sixth place it is a foundation that I wasn't planning to review I was curious about, but then I'm like, okay, I'm reviewing so many foundations, let's give it a go. And I'm talking about the Milk Makeup Foundation Stick. If you want a super natural skin with a gorgeous radiance without being too much, this foundation is it. 
this foundation it is super easy to apply it glides so well it just melts into the skin and actually it doesn't feel like you are wearing makeup it actually the skin looks so perfected so beautiful it didn't settle onto my fine lines um maybe after a few hours like many hours six hours where i was looking a little bit like it had settled right here on these areas of my of my um nose but other than that i mean with a little tap i was able to just like fine completely fine it didn't move after that and then i will say that this foundation is ideal for those with dry skin normal and combination skin i don't know about the ones who have oily skin now this foundation it is lightweight and my only consideration with this foundation it is the pores areas so if you have a large pores you may want to use a pore minimizer primer to help smooth that area because when you first apply it it doesn't show and after some time of wear it doesn't emphasize them but you can tell that your pores a little bit there and for being on a stick foundation more like into a cream i was really impressed with the longevity of the foundation and i remember the day that i was wearing it i was getting ready for a trip and it wore just wonderful all day long without retouching or anything like that i was super impressed about this foundation and what i like about it too it is that it's so travel friendly it is little it is lightweight and it will not break so this will definitely go in my travel bag absolutely when i'm going off seas and for long trips this is a really good foundation to take with me on the seventh place i have to give it to the kevin aquan balm foundation this foundation right here it really took me by surprise when i was editing the video of the review of this foundation i was even thinking oh my gosh what about if everything could have gone so wrong would i have posted i don't know because i was like oh this foundation looks so ugly it went so mad on my skin it looked kind of like powdery on my skin although it applied like a balm so it was really smooth in that applying but i was like this foundation looks so bad but anyhow that day as the day progressed my skin looked glorious i looked like a porcelain doll it was just this beautiful finish that i was just not able to get over it in fact i almost got in a crash accident and <laughs> i shouldn't be saying this but i was looking to my mirror you know the mirror of truth the mirror that tells you you know you're looking good or you're looking terrible that day and i'm talking about the mirror for the, of the car and i was just looking to myself and telling my daughter do you see is it me how is my skin looking like and all of a sudden it's like oh my gosh i'm going out I'm gonna crash right now so anyhow thank goodness no car crash that day but i was like so impressed so my thoughts about this foundation this foundation to me it is perfect for those who have a normal skin type for those who have a little bit of combination skin and even though those who have oily skin this foundation will be perfect maybe for those who have oily skin you may want to set it just to make sure it doesn't move around now the day that I tried it, it was a hot day and it has been a still hot days in here in the area that I live and the foundation wears as beautiful as it did that day. But it basically needs that warmth to become a little bit more of like one with your skin. I really like the way it feels. You don't need a lot. So if you go back and watch my review video, I tap very gentle on this brush. Now this brush comes with a foundation and I will say definitely use the foundation with the brush. Don't go with a sponge, don't go with your hands, you won't apply too much. Just with this brush will be more than enough. A little swirl at a time, that's all what I suggest because otherwise I don't know if it will become too cakey but that's kind of like where, where it, to me kind of runs that margin of like in may, in may line to the cakey side now i will say that if you have fine lines or like dry patches like me i will say when you apply this foundation although it was gonna look a little bit mad 
go ahead and put a little bit of setting powder. It will help for the foundation to stay in place. And then you can go over with a setting spray that has a little bit more of a luminous finish if you like the luminosity and you want to keep the luminosity of the foundation because again this foundation i think for warm months it will work for me because it just it was unbelievable the way that my skin look it was just so beautiful again and then i like as well this foundation is a good foundation for traveling it is travel friendly so i'm thinking you know like maybe going to places like say hawaii or you know areas that are hot and maybe those areas that are humid like say if you are in the east coast i think the foundation will work fantastic another thing to note i'm going with a little bit of setting it um, now if you have dry skin like me i have set it with the hourglass veil um, because it it does transfer it doesn't finish doesn't finish to set on your skin so that is the only thing that you will if you don't like foundations that transfer you may need to set it just a little and now if you want a foundation that you can use it from day to night and on my eighth spot i'm talking about the dose of colors foundation this foundation the longevity it is just out of this world incredible it doesn't wear off it's just like in place for many many hours it feels super lightweight it's more of a medium coverage foundation now this foundation it is a matte foundation but i actually find it to be a little bit more satin with that you know slight radiance to the skin now i think that this foundation it is very smoothing and i feel like this foundation will be best for those who have normal to combination skin i think that is the sweetest spot for this foundation if you have a drier skin i think you will have to have a primer that has some type of moisturizing properties and something else that i want to know that all this foundation it is do not over apply it i have the feeling that if you over apply this foundation it will end up looking cakey because of this natural to soft matte finish um, i will highly suggest to go with very little foundation and then build it up as you need it on the areas that you need it other than that it has good coverage this is a foundation that is actually more what i will say kind of like an evening type of look foundation. In my ninth spot, I have Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. This foundation, um, it has been raved about by many and by many others, it has been taken down. Now, if it is still here on my collection, it's because I still like it. I actually find that this foundation, it is extremely lightweight and it is very sheer. So here is my point. I love how the foundation looks. It actually, I don't know if you have been in the store, Athleta, I think it's Athleta or Athleta, and you see the mannequins on that store, they have these beautiful light sheen to the skin this is what this foundation will do this foundation doesn't move it actually gives a very subliminal type of finish the thing that i dislike about it is first of all it has alcohol which that means that it will prevent me from wearing it more often because i feel this foundation it is ideal for morning and afternoon um, this foundation is not your glam foundation if you need a glam foundation and if you have the amount of freckles that i have you will have to wear a full palm and even a little bit more than that with this foundation making it not very cost effective and i think that is where it draws um, the line for me of like okay i really love the finish i enjoy it i have been wearing it many times and i like it so much but then again i think well i'm gonna go over this foundation so fast and i'm gonna miss it so what should i do now it doesn't emphasize my pores at all with this foundation i don't feel that i need to use a pore minimizer primer but i will say that i feel that the pat mcgrath 
primer, it is a really good primer to go with this foundation. I, in fact, think that the entire system of this primer, the foundation, and the powder that I have it somewhere here on my mess, <laughs> it works wonderful. The powder, it is very lightweight. Now, do I justify the price of the powder? Not really. Other than that, um, Another primer that will work well with this foundation, it is the one, the new one from Fenty Beauty, the hydrating one. Yet, this primer right here, in combination with this, it just makes the skin perfect, like really perfect. Um, the longevity of the foundation, it has a good wear time. I think you can go very well with an eight hour chief, 10 hours with this foundation, it will still look really good, but again, it is very sheer to begin with and you will need to use for me a lot because as you can tell from the other when i'm talking about the other foundations i use kind of like a quarter of a pump half a pump at the most but this one i have to go with a full pump and still i will get a light to medium coverage hopefully it makes sense right there but it makes my skin look like no other. I mean, and I'm not telling you to go and buy the whole system to use with this foundation because I know that it's not cost effective. I have it right now in my collection and now that's why I decided to keep it. Um, but if I was to repurchase again this foundation, I will give it a second thought. I most likely will rebuy it, but I will definitely buy it also with a primer. At the beginning, you may not think that the primer does much with a foundation, but if you put it to the test without primer and with primer one day and the other one, you will find the difference right there on how perfect smoothing um, the, the very subtle radiance that it has that literally it makes you look like a perfecting mannequin. And now going into my 10th place. And from here on, I do not have the foundation anymore with me for the reasons that I will explain. In 10th place, I do have the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation. This foundation, it is hydrating, but it's really heavy on me. I feel it looked like I had foundation on. And I just didn't like the feeling. Even when I apply a little amount, it shows so much. I don't think it's a foundation that is forgiving for those who we have more of a mature skin. I think for those who are younger in age, maybe on their 20s, late 20s, or early 30s, it will look good. But then when you're getting to have a little bit more of the fine lines, um, this foundation is not forgiving. It also feels a little bit thick. It settled onto my pores. I try it different ways and it is honestly not my favorite foundation. It actually uh, made my fine lines a little bit more obvious. Um, and then that make me think, okay, well then I have to set it and perhaps go with a setting mist that will bring the foundation back to life. When I applied it, honestly, it didn't look like a dewy foundation or a radiant foundation or a luminous foundation. It basically looked like a soft matte foundation for the most part. And throughout the day, it was nice. It, it has a subtle radiance as the day warm up, but then... Um, again, the thing that it didn't convince me, it, it was that it was settling into those fine lines, into the pores. Again, it wasn't very forgiving and therefore that's why it landed on 10th place. And now in my 11th place is the Urban Decay Naked Foundation. This foundation, although the longevity is impressive, it is extremely lightweight, it has a soft matte look, but it actually felt a little bit tight on my skin. It felt like something was pulling a little and then unfortunately, there must be an ingredient right there that made me have a really bad allergic reaction. That in fact, after that foundation, I was making more foundation reviews. And I mean, in a way it helped me to really rank my foundations the way that I'm doing right now because I had a lot of texture. I have a lot of bumps everywhere. And unfortunately, it was because of this foundation. So definitely the foundation had to go back to the store. There was no other way around it. I definitely feel that this foundation was too drying for my skin type, but I think this foundation may be best for those who have combination to oily skin because it did have a beautiful finish after all. 
but again, unfortunately, this foundation did not agree with my skin. And on my 12th and last place, I have the Chiseido Synchro Skin. Unfortunately, this foundation was too mattifying for my skin. It actually emphasized my texture, it emphasized my pores. Even though I shake it really well, it actually left little white bumps on like little dots on my skin and mostly on my pore area it was just so obvious it really looked bad it looked bad on my fine lines i do not have any botox right here so my fine lines are there and i don't want them to show so it just didn't look good on my skin at all um, it does work gracefully it does have a good longevity i will say maybe at a six hour mark it is okay but it's definitely not forgiven for those who have mature skin or dry skin perhaps for those who have more of a combination of skin and oily skin this foundation will work best but not for my skin okay my friends and now this is the wrap up of this video i hope you enjoy it i would love to hear your comments down below and let me know what foundations have you tried and what foundations are the ones that you are loving and the reasons why also please do not forget that in your comments leave if you have a dry skin combination skin normal skin i think that will help our little family right here also at deciding what foundation maybe work best for them according to their skin type and now my friends if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up share with somebody else that may like this type of videos and if you haven't done so yet don't wait too long just click that subscribe button that is under this screen right here just check it out tap it in it's completely free also do not forget to ring the post notification bell so you get to know whenever i have low new videos and until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day bye bye